December 4th, Sunday, morning 7.45. Temperature is 22 degree Fahrenheit, that is minus 6 degrees Celsius. Looks like a sunny day today. Mm -hmm. So, got ready, going for breakfast. breakfast. So, breakfast will start from 7 o'clock till 10 o'clock. Now we are going for breakfast. After that, we'll be heading for architecture tour. We already booked the tickets. So it will start at 10 o'clock. It is walkable distance. According to the temperature, we will decide whether to walk or take a ride. This is Naveen. Welcome back to another episode of Tintin Travel. Subscribe to Tintin Travel. How was the breakfast? Yeah, good. It's a usual uh, yeah. sausage, waffles, juice, egg. Bread. Tomorrow it will be different. No? Yeah. Yes, it will. Okay? And it's like this. But it was sufficient, not enough. Yeah, All it right. was sufficient. Yes, enough. We are going for architecture tour through Chicago River. It is 45 minutes ride. Let's see, I already covered this in my previous episode when I came here in April. Today also it is freezing cold. Today also freezing cold. Yeah, I can't feel cold. Today also very windy. Not even that windy. Yeah, not, not that windy, but, but low temperature, freezing temperature. Right? All set. See that architecture? Yeah. That building? Yeah. I think that's an old building, yeah. right? Yeah. So we will get to know. The guide will tell you exactly the importance of the building uh -huh. and the history behind the building, everything, right? Okay. So Chicago is meant for the architectural diversity, right? Different type of architectures from different parts of the globe. So they tried everything. See this? Yeah. There's a statue. Come, let's go and see. You know? Who is that? Benito Juarez. Who is Benito Juarez? Uh, he was the 26th president of Mexico. He was the 26th president of Mexico. Benito Juarez. He was a Mexican liberal politician and a lawyer. He served as a 26th president of Mexico. Very nice, right? Skyscrapers. See, this is the plaza of the Americas. You can take a pic from there. So our destination is the Magnificent Mile, right? So I think we are almost reached here. It is another 200 feet from here, yeah. okay? So this is a good place, right? Yeah. So we covered a main attraction here, the Plaza of the Americas. Enjoy it, Nanda? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fantastic. We have to learn more in our architectural tour anyways. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to know about all the buildings here, yeah. all the architectural beauties.
See, this is Michigan Avenue Bridge. Can you see that? Nice, right? Michigan Avenue Bridge. Right? Right here. See, this is the one, Nanda. I told you. Here we need to report. What is that? Ventella. Tours and Cruise. Ventella Tours and Cruise. Since 1935. Nanda, yeah. sit down. Yeah. I think we are going in this one. Mm -hmm. Wow, super. Oh. See? Wow. wow. See, it's going up. Wow, 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 wow. Half an hour before we need to report here. Now it is 9.30, right? Vendela! Vendela boat rides. Nanda? Yeah? You need to scan the tickets here. Right? Yeah. Chicago's original architecture tour. Last time I been with a different company. Oh. Taking only buildings, right? Yeah. Huh? The towering tower of We are ready yes. for architecture tour with Vendela Tours and Cruise. It will start now. Done with boarding. So ready? Yes. See the background. Wow. <laughs> See the water? It's glistening. I'm big brain that you guys. Daddy, uh, yours has fur and mine doesn't. Now I don't want to have time to watch TV. She's been inspected by the United States Coast Guard and meets her seats all safety requirements. Key elements of that, we have more than enough life jackets aboard. They are located upper deck stern in those wooden benches some of you are sitting on back there. Lower deck stern in some secure cabins. Now these are for emergency use only, so please leave them where they are. But in the event of an emergency, a uniform crew member will come around, give a demonstration of how to put one on, and then follow it up with some instructions of what they need to do next. The vessel also has throw rings. Two at the lower level, one at the bow. Seeds me. This guy brought a camera and a microphone uh, for his YouTube channel, World's Worst Tour Guides. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you'll see me on there. I, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy that you heard about me. I guess it's not that crazy. Well, um, folks, uh, I'd say for 50 to 60 percent of us, we want to be here. Um, and the other will have to be here because that's of the world. I'm just saying it's kind of cool to be like, oh my gosh. So the first skyscraper that ever saw the blue sky was right here in Chicago. Yeah, and you're, you're on this tour and celebrating that skyline. Is, are we gonna see the home insurance building from 1883? Unfortunately, no. It was torn down in the 20s. But we'll see lots of other buildings. Uh, many of them, you know, old. But um, there's two reasons people don't miss out on Chicago's boat. Ask them how many friends they had two years ago. Ask them how many friends they had two years after their gold medal. 
We want to be around the first. It's just human As nature. It's a human race to relax next to pretty bodies of water. Well, there's a beautiful blue river running right through the Chicago River, and the Chicago River runs, trisects the central business district downtown. So it's perfect. You take these two things of human nature, a desire to see and experience the first of something. We started building our city in 1837, purely of wood. Yeah, no stone, no bricks, just wood. 99% of our city was wood. Why? We had speculators and investors saying, I gave you $300,000 two years ago. Where's my return? Well, we're building a, a concrete or a, a stone road and it takes two and a half years. Do you want to have that conversation or do you want to say, yep, we put up a highway. Our entire city was made of wood. 100,000 people uh, homeless, hundreds of lives lost, the Great Chicago Fire. 1871, October 8th. Now, folks, looking to the right, you'll see the tallest reinforced concrete. From 2009, it's the Trump International Hotel and Towers. Completed in 2009, designed by Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. The principal architect, Adrian Smith, you've heard his name. He's kind of the LeBron in architecture. He's done the Burj Khalifa. He's working on the Kingdom Tower in Jeddah, which will be three times the height of the Trump. These are steel and glass 1973, buildings. 1973, Mies van der Rohe immigrated from uh, Germany in the 1930s. He believed in versatility, durability, and utility. Did anybody hear me say decor? Do you see the decor on that building? Vertical aluminum girders, that's what Mies van der Rohe calls decoration. Those vertical aluminum it, it, girders. It does, it works, but um, anyway. Versatility, utility, and durability, no. Bertrand Goldberg subscribed to what makes me feel good? Curvy organic spaces. Okay? Bertrand Goldberg, 1964, 1965, the Marina City Towers, um, the most photographed buildings in the city of Chicago. Bertrand Goldberg said, I've never seen a cubicle bird's nest. I've never seen Marina City Towers, but because there's no elevator servicing the parking facility, they don't have room in the stems of the building. Um, and so a man lift is used and no insurance company in the world is going to insure regular Joe on a man lift. Yeah, they'll insure a train insurance commercial. Are you in good hands? Hey, hey Harry, look, Harry, three windows from the bridge house. He's been there since 1914 when the building opened, Designed same by George Nimmons, perfectly symmetrically. Is it symmetrical today? I'll let you do the first grade math to tell me. Um, the Reed Murdoch Center is the last industrial warehouse on the Chicago River's main branch. Now, it is asymmetrical. We removed a bay of windows on the west side, slammed the book in, hoping you wouldn't notice, so that we could expand LaSalle Street and its so bridge. So be proud that 90% of the metals are recycled. This is um, Picard Chilton, 2009. It's a platinum certified leader in energy and environmental design. Not only is 90% of the metal recycled, but the green spaces are irrigated with Chicago River water. That water is reclaimed, filtered, and returned to the Chicago River cleaner than it was when we drew it. It's underneath, and the ship dock next to it, the potential for that, that was here when this was an industrial river. That means you can ship everything in the continental United States in two weeks. Unfortunately, the 1930s were not kind. So when this building sold for $550 million in the 90s, remember Kennedy's paid 13 for it, they sold it for 550. One of the greatest real estate investments of all time, even adjusting for inflation. It's tower, it'll be uh, 70 stories completed next year. Pelly Clark and Pelly. The reason I pointed out Wolf Point, folks, is because that's where we named our city Chicago. And in that charter in 1837, we put a clause that says the lakefront is for the public's good only. Did the operator wave at you? Oh, that's so red. Mwah! Thank you. Oh, that makes me so happy. Hey, folks, 150 North Riverside, if you're not impressed, throw me off the boat. I'm right here. This is a 54-story building on a 39-foot foundation. Again, if you're into common sense, this is a 54-story building on a 13-meter foundation. The foundation is 13 meters. Wow. How do they do it? The world's strongest steel from Luxembourg. Ooh. It's uh, on steel tracks that can move in four directions. And it's four tanks of 160,000 gallons in each tank. And while the wind blows, the weather sensing computer acknowledges it and then adjusts the building with those tracks in those tanks. 
So we have a strong southerly gale. Oh, we better... Now, folks, looking on the... Oh, by the way, that's 150 North Riverside, 2017 by Pel uh, Getch Partners. Will from 1990. Look, there's three segments that we can see over your right shoulder. The two segments on the outside are suspended from the top. What? Look at those steel trusses. They're literally holding the East and That's West Perkins and Will 1990, currently the home to Boeing, but they're headed to Arlington, Virginia at the end of the year uh, so they can lobby our congressmen more easily and more often than they already do. Uh, um, Holliburton and Root from 1929. <laughs> Notice how far back from the river they built. That's because of the train tracks. Like, we don't have the engineering or the methodology. Hi. Uh, <laughs> now, here we have... Um, here we have gateways one and two. Now this is the 60s. Does it look like we have the technology and the methodology to build over hollow train tracks? It does. Notice in the 20s, we couldn't do it. In the 60s, all right, now we can do it. This is Amtrak and Metro tracks. They own the land. They have no use for the air above it, do they? So they lease. Can you believe that? Folks, I'm a pretty smart guy. Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Folks, if you think you're hungover or seeing double vision, you're not. They're identical twins. I-L-L-I-S Sears. What? Willis Wait. Group uh, uh, bought the naming rights. And uh, they are a, a British insurance group or broker brokerage and they brokered insurance for the most famous steam liner that struck an iceberg in the 20th century if you say its name knock on wood we got some mariners on board what? One oh your technician in the loop 107 elevators folks oh 103 personnel four freight Graham Anderson Probst and no, no, no. Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Bruce Graham was the uh, lead architect. Dr. Fazlur Rahman Khan was the Dr. structural Rahman. engineer. Dr. Khan. Dr. Fazlur Rahman Khan. Dr. Fazlur Rahman Khan. Dr. Fazlur Rahman Khan. Rahman like the noodles. in every direction. Does that sound like a good structural engineer? I don't know. Sounds like a brilliant one because it's those five glass boxes. Let me tell you what those are. Those are five glass boxes. Uh, that you can stand in. In 2018, the glass cracked under a family of four. Turns out there's structural glass and then there's indicator glass. All right? What? You'll only have an indicator stroke. What? Everything I said is true, folks. It's real. That's really what happened, 2018. Wild to me that, you know, my brother has a 92 Honda Accord. When he has to change the oil, a red light blinks. Consequently, it is the Chicago Window Washer Union's favorite building to wash. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange has four corner offices for every corner, for every level, for every le That's just crazy, right? Why so many corner offices? These are um, by Fujikawa and Johnson from 1987. They put these a, ha a centimeter out every 10 stories. And the reason they did that is so when they put the heavy trading floor in the middle, it would right the towers to 90 degrees plumb. Fujikawa was asked about this 11 years later. We have this on film. He grabs his forehead and says, oh my God, I'm glad that worked. <laughs> and it's not a joke, it's not a bit, you can find it. Fujikawa and Johnson, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, 1986-87, you know, because there's towers, one finished and then the next. Here we have the, um, the Civic Opera building. This is from 1929. Graham Anderson, Probst and White, did not rest on their laurels because uh, they used all of their laurels in the actual, look, laurel, 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 yeah. This is uh, in the French Renaissance Latin alphabet, which is why there's no, there's no U in the, in the Latin alphabet. So it's not misspelled. They're sticking to the core uh, motif. Beautiful building. The second largest opera house in the United States, 1929. Graham um. Anderson. Here we have the new kid on the block, 2021, Bank of America. Look at that reverse terracing. It's smart in two ways. It looks smart. And secondly, what sells for more money? Riverview office or 
office with semi-panoramic experience. The semi-panoramic river experience is going to sell for more money. Also, do you see these tridents wrapped in stainless steel? Expensive. Bathed in $70,000 worth of lighting every night of the year? That's expensive. You know how much $70,000 worth of lighting costs? So why is Guest Partners trying to get your attention on these? It's a callback. Guest Partners wants you to see triangles and go, hey, there's a triangle built right there. And for some folks that are in the business, in the industry, they're gonna go, Guest Partners, those guys, those rascals. They wanna remind us that they built a 54-story building on a 13-meter foundation. Good for them. This is Rembrandt painting himself in to the stormy ship at sea. Convention who nominated who to the candidacy for president? Lincoln. Four months and three weeks ago, I was on a tour, asked that question, waited 90 seconds for the answer. I'm not saying we should all be history buffs. I'm saying one in 300 people should be a history buff. So I started giving clues. You want to hear those? Honest, lawyer, log cabin, top hat, theater murder. The guesses I got. Finally, dad, backwards visor, comes up, three Bud Lights. What's going on? Somebody tells him, he goes, Abraham Lincoln. I was like, thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. He was just getting a beer. We do have the buff on board. Address hey, folks, here. how power is that? Triple Three West Wacker, also known as Nuveen. You've seen it in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and The Truman Show. This is Con Pedersen and Fox's freshman skyscraper. Isn't that great? What? what? Looks like veteran work. The dark green glass represents the North Branch and its organic uh, decaying base. Most people call it mud. And the light green glass, that represents the white clay base of the main branch. The curvature of the curtain of glass, that represents the South Branch bending into the main branch. Now this lovely lounging lawn is the beginning or the end of the Riverwalk, however you look at it, uh, or installed in 2016. Uh, it's absolutely well worth it. It's only a 20 minute walk and you're already bumbled up. Look at that projector. $1.1 million projects the largest digital media image in the United States onto the merchandise mart. It's every night at 8 and 8.30. Just look, bring some hot hands, a pint of Tullamore Dew and an extra large coffee from Duncan and it's a free date after that. We're not installed until 2016. In 2010, we had nine native species of plants. In 2020, we have 70 native species of, I'm sorry, nine native species I of I need fish. you to validate me on this. Folks, this is uh, the builder's building. Now, the east side, the three quarters, that's from 1927, Graham Anderson, Probst and White. Excuse me, uh, yeah, Graham Anderson, Probst and White. The quarter over here that's on the west side, that's 1986, Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, 59 years apart, and Skidmore maintained most of the continuity. If you're not impressed and you're a visual designer, you can throw me off the boat. I understand if you're a layman, laywoman, a layperson, like what's the big deal? Folks, you take somebody else's project 10 minutes after they're finished or 100 years after they're finished, it's very tough to maintain artistic continuity. Well, geometric patterns and designs at the base, vertical lines of decorated windows, drawing your eyes to the top, each cap has a setback. So the setback can be one centimeter or it can be one meter, but there's a setback for Art Deco caps, right? And that's the um, Halliburton Route, 1930, LaSalle Wacker Building. Oh my gosh, do you want to go to the red carpet of the Golden Globes with me? No idea. Well, we're going either way. Look at the right, we have 77 West Wacker, AKA Gina Davis, looking lovely in her neoclassical postmodern gown designed by Ricardo Bohil from the season of 91. Look at the juxtaposing of modern steel and glass with classical Greco columns. Well, you're looking lovely, Ms. Davis. Next up on the red carpet, we have Danny DeVito. Yes, Mr. DeVito is wearing a tuxedo that is brutalist in fashion from 1967 by C.F. Murphy. Am I insulting the tuxedo of DeVito? No. En français, brut means unfinished. Is his concrete polished? No, it's not. That's a brutalist building. And finally, our last celebrity on the red carpet tonight, we have Sigourney Weaver looking very regal in this um, boxy gown, I'd say, but look, Pulling it off, no doubt. 
Uh, this is uh, described as a uh, column within a column within a column. Now the stainless steel studs reflect natural light into the offices, making it easier on your eyes and your pocketbook. Designed by Roche and Dinkaloo in 1989 is when the building was completed. Did you know Leo Burnett Advertising operates out of the base of that building? Meow, 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 meow. They're great! It keeps going and going. Anybody 20 and over recognize that? It's wild. I did that on a tour with a 13-year-old, a private tour. I've got about 20 jingles. She had no idea. In, not one. Not one. She didn't have cable. Why, why would they know that? Folks, that, uh, that's the Burnham Brothers. It's 24 karat. The Carbon and Carbide Building, 1928. Said to look like a champagne bottle. I, I think it looks like something else. Now, um, the Riverwalk I mentioned already, $116 million to complete this. We're still installing a few of the last vestiges of it. But folks, money well spent. Hundreds of thousands of people walk this beautiful river every year because of this Riverwalk. We're so grateful for it. Immediately to your right, folks, you'll see the Jewelers Building from 1927. Uh, this was designed by Javed and Dinkelberg. And um, those four Tempietti, two-thirds of the way up, those operated as gravity-powered fire suppression systems. How cool is that for 1927? Now, the reason we call it the Jewelers Building is because there was a car elevator servicing the basement to the 22nd floor, and jewelers were getting stick em up in the ganglands of Chicago, so they needed a place they could securely unload their wares, not in front of a business, right? Well, mafioso, they needed a secure place to get out of their car, too. So the irony is, after these jewelers get in, the bosses of the very men that had been mugging them are now occupying that. That's an awkward elevator ride. Fat Tony, who just robbed you of your oldest college fund, is in the elevator next to you, and you can't say a word? That would be weird. Hey, this is the London House from 1923 by Alfred Alshuler in the Beaux-Arts style. Look at those griffins on either side of the fifth story. You can't walk in the city of London without seeing a lion or a griffin. You can't walk 10 feet. So I love how uh, he did that. Now, folks, that's where historic Fort Dearborn was located. Fort Dearborn has two uh, important notes in history. Uh, it helped us defend from the British Canadians in the War of 1812. Very patriotic. We got slaughtered twice, but we tried. Okay. And the second part of history was it helped facilitate uh, the dislocation, delocation, and murder of thousands of Native Americans in this part of the country, um, which I find it relevant that Fort Dearborn was located right there, and the Potawatomi Heritage Piece is across the street from it. You are on Potawatomi land. Powerful message. Also a message that has no punctuation. That tells me the speaker's not done speaking. Immediately to the right, architecture nerds, get your pencil out so you can write down what you were wearing and the name of your handsome tour guide, Scotty D. That is the world's largest Hyatt Regency. It's made with real brown mason stone, otherwise known as bricks. Epstein and Sons, 1985. 2,000 rooms, it really is the world's largest Hyatt Regency. Now folks, behind that we have the Aeon Center, 1973. Edward Durrell Stone clad this building in Italian Carrera marble, the same marble as the uh, statue of David is sculpted from. Unfortunately, this marble, you could guess, is not great for outdoors. Since uh, I'm gonna be on YouTube, I guess you could say I got the stones for it. That's, I, I know. My goal is to say the worst jokes possible. Hey, take a look at Aqua, an Illinois native, born in Belvedere, lives in Chicago now. She won two awards for Aqua by Chini Gang. See, it's high fashion. That's why you have to say it like that. Aqua by Chini Gang won two awards in 2009. The most beautiful new construction in the world. She was up against men, women, humpback whales, and aliens. She won the whole thing. This is not a gender thing. This is a, I am the best living thing thing. And that's Jeannie Gang uh, at that. Now, the second award she won was the tallest building in the world designed by a lead female architect. Could you say this elevated her resume? It did. 365 meters to a new record. The world's tallest building designed by a female lead architect. Jeannie Graves Gang. 2020, the St. Regis Hotel and Towers. 
The hotel at the base is a rectangular prism. That's what scientists call a 3D rectangle. Can you see that 3D rectangle at the base? It's got an ornamental decoration for a lobby right in front. Now above the hotel, on the left, first tower, this is where the residences start. And she starts by truncating frustums. Now I'm gonna put that in English for you. She takes giant Rolo candies and she sets the first Rolo candy upright on the hotel on the left side. She takes a second giant Rolo candy, puts it upside down on the first one. And then finally a third Rolo candy, setting it right side up on the left tower. Now if you take out Rolo candy and insert frustrum, you should get a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. Rolos are round, frustrums have four tapered sides. Any Romanians on the boat, you should recognize this. Uh, she draws, a, I would, undeniably draws inspiration from the uh, Millennium, I believe it's the Millennium Memorial in uh, Romania. Was the tour? Awesome. Oh, but it was very, very cold, chilled cold, outside, cold, right? Very cold. freezing cold outside. Yeah. So it was really wonderful experience. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I have this in my YouTube channel. Oh yeah, for sure. Subscribe to Tent and Travel. Thank you. <laughs> it's unbearable cold, right? We'll get back to hotel. Yes. Nanda, yeah. Wrigley, the Wrigley building. Yeah. Cold. Says the person who didn't wear gloves. After architecture tour, we are back to hotel. With this, we are ending this episode here. Thank you for watching. Have a windy, windy day. day. <laughs>